So you just got off your trainer, you've watched all your YouTube cycling videos and you're looking at more cycling into your life? Well, look no further, we have a cycling board game today. This year, Charles' mom had an amazing idea combining two of Charles' biggest passions. We like to play a lot of board games when we're not on the bike, so this one is perfect. So it's called Flam Rouge, so all, all you guys know what is the Flam Rouge, it's the last kilometer into a bike race. This game has been out for a few years now, we've been playing it for the last week or so, and it's actually super fun to play with two people or you can play up to four people. You want to do a quick overview of the rules? Yeah, sure. So I will not go over all the rules, you're gonna like find out how we play this game, but basically this game runs into three phases. So the first phase is called the energy phase. You pick cards here and those cards will give you uh, the movement that your sprinter or your ruler or rouleur in French uh, can move forwards. And in each end you can pick four cards of rouleur, four cards of sprinter, and then you play how many cases you want it to move forward. There's also a few uh, different tracks we can create with the pieces. Today we've decided to play with the La Montagne. La Haute Montagne. La Haute Montagne. So you'll see on the game there's a lot of red and blue zones. Those are climbs or descents. There's also a little... Energy uh, cards. Tiring cards. Yes. So those ones are... When you're you're at the the front, more tired because because you're in the wind pretty much. So every time you have a racer out in the front of someone else, uh, this guy will get a tiring card, low energy card. Yeah, uh, this guy will get a low energy card, and everyone else behind will not get low energy card. And the problem when you have too many low energy cards is that at some point they are the only cards that you will be able to play which you don't want to avoid. Yes, yeah, so they are mixed with the rest of your cards and every turn you draw four cards and you pick from the four, but if you have a lot of low energy cards, then at some point, specifically during the, the last sprint, you might have a lot of low energy to, to choose from and this uh, can prevent you from winning. Yeah, and the, the last rule we're gonna talk about into this uh, introduction is the drafting rule. So there is drafting involved in this game. Every time a rider will be one case behind the other, it will get the draft boost. So that means it's gonna get one case forward. Uh, this is also the point if, let's say, uh, this guy is one case behind, he's gonna get this draft, and those guys will not get the draft of this one. Basically, always one case behind, you get a free case and you don't get a low energy card. So that is a really good strategy to play lower cards and move forward for free. Just like real racing and real life cycling. We did not explain everything. We're gonna explain a little bit more towards uh, how, uh, when we play and you're gonna figure it out and uh, let's just have some fun. But Gab, before starting, I think I need to put myself into the cycling spirit. I have a jersey to go put on. Okay. Oh, you're blue. But I could have wore, you have one that looks like that, a green one. No, I want to play the blue because I'm playing the blue here. Yes, and... but I want your green uh, Rafa shirt. You want my green Rafa shirt because you're the green? Yes, it's gonna match with this one. All right, so now that I have my Israel Startup Nation jersey, Gab has my Rafa green jersey. We're gonna start this race. Uh, so without further ado, let's pick our first four cards that we're gonna decide to play. So we pick four cards per uh, racer. So we have, as uh, Charles explained, one sprinter and one that just is no. the rouleur, so it just moves forward. You okay? ready? Yes. Yeah, three, two, one. All right, so Gab sprinter will go four. So rouleur three, sprinter four. Uh, rouleur, un, deux, trois. Well, now it's my rouleur turn. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, your sprinter is? Four. Un, deux, trois, quatre. And my sprinter is five. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. <clears throat> so now is the drafting phase. So since there's one case here and uh, no case behind, all those riders can go up one case, one. 
and my ruler will get a uh, low energy low card. energy card and your sprinter too because no one's in front because no one's in front oh we've played <laughs> almost oh exactly the same thing exactly the same so my ruler still do another four no, uh, ruler is four yes and sprinter does no everyone goes up Charles called them the energy card, but those are bad. Yeah, you, you, you don't, don't want those. Yeah. Okay, you ready? So you'll see that we both uh, play very low cards, so twos and threes, which are the lowest uh, speeds we have in our packs. Uh, the thing is, we usually keep our highest uh, speed cards for the end, for the last sprint. But today, with the game plan we have, a the big last climb at sprint the end. is a climb. Therefore, we won't be able to put cards of above five. So uh, we'll see what will happen. But it probably gonna be a little uh, different strategy today than uh, for the past games we played. Exactly like in regular life uh, cycling races. Uh, there's your strategy change every time. The course change. This is like a Tour de France mountain top finish. So we gotta play accordingly. Both get yeah. one low energy card for our... Our Vular. Yes. So, uh... Oh shit, you're attacking shit. Yeah, my Sprinter having <laughs> a 9 and my Hular is 5, so I'm probably gonna lose Charles behind. So your Hular does 5, I do 12, cat sign, and Sprinter. A nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this one gets draft, and we all doesn't get a draft because there's a one gap here. But Gab will get the two energy cards. So that was not my best move, but I didn't have a choice. <laughs> the three cards uh, I drafted were nine, so <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna be a nine. And also something else we didn't see. All the cards we've played um, are just uh, thrown out, uh, so they won't never come back again. So for me, the nine I, I just put down, I cannot play again. Charles must have more nine currently in his pack than I have because I was obliged to play, play mine. You also see that Charles today has a brand new air cut. He looks very aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. All right. So your sprinter cute. does two, one, two. Uh, no, does two, one, two. Oh. Well, everyone gets drafted here, and only your sprinter gets a card. You might be quick on the road, but you're not too quick to pick <laughs> your card. No, exactly. I'm not. No sprinter does two, one, two, five. Um, oh, so now Charles has. The low energy card in his back. We'll keep going. He's the only one. You see, now I only have one card to choose from, so I guess I'll have to play this one. I hope it's a good one. Well, I have two, so it's not that much better. I'm, I'm not that fast, huh? Because Charles is very strategic. He doesn't like to lose, so he picks his card very carefully. Yes. It's Seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. No, see, That's mine. Oh. You played the. You played four. You try to cheat. No. <laughs> you play four. All right. Three, four, four, <laughs> and then Charles. Play five. When you're in the times, you cannot benefit from the draft. The draft. So, so Charles, I think you have two little red cards yep. being added to your pack. So now, because Charles is in the red section, he won't be able to put any cards above five. If he, he has to put a card above five, then it's gonna count as a five. So two fives for Charles. Yep. So this is interesting because there's no draft for this one, and there's no draft for this one because they're into the climbs. So Gab will get two energy cards, cards, and my ruler will get one. Another rule we haven't explained yet is uh, Charles is in the blue, so for him, um, he can put whatever card, it can be a two, a three, um, he's still gonna move from at least five uh, squares, so it's the time for him to throw his very... Uh, weak, weak cards. 
lowest card and then still move by five. So that's what I did. And yours put you this four? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So these two goes up and your sprinter is currently left behind. It's okay. It's okay. okay. But oh, that sucks because I won't be able to benefit from the blue section because I was moved be because of the draft. Pretty much. Oh, Charles is going strong. A nine and a six. First one, Hular goes six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You, Hular does seven. And then my sprinter does five. Damn, it's getting serious. We're getting close to the end. So now my sprinter is not doing a good job. I need to do something. We've played exactly the same thing. Yeah, big cards. So my sprinter does nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Yes, it's... I don't think you're allowed to do... If you do five before the red zone, then you need to stop at the entering of the red zone. I can find you the exact girl for that. So I think Charles is gonna have to to get back and wait and stop where the red la, uh, red section begins. Si un coureur se déplace d'au moins cinq cases avant d'entrer dans la montée, il stoppe son mouvement sur la dernière file libre avant la montée. So yes, Charles has to go back for no dernière file libre avant la montée. Got him. Okay, so it gives me a, a little chance to to okay. reach back the the main group. It's our chance to play bigger cards uh, because um, we're not yet in the red zone. Uh, once we'll be in the red zone, then it's gonna be max five. It goes six. One. Okay, and printer goes. I can do four. Oh, Charles is still leading. Oh no, it's me. You're leading. Oh, oops. <laughs> Great. Right, energy cards. Oh, but then everyone gets red cards for this turn. Yep. So you do five. Oh, it's getting serious. So this is probably the last round, I think. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. So they both count as fives. So I think I won. So Gabri wins the game. You won the game. Congratulations. Woo! Okay, it's the first time I beat Charles as, at yes. this game. This is like, like our fourth game or fifth game? Yes. What went wrong, do you think? You play better cards, I guess. You were ending up. I think it's this move here. When I play my, my seven and I got like stuck here at the end, I think that's like, that was my bad play. Yes, that. But this allowed my sprinter to get back in the game. But this one was already in the main uh, group. Yeah, in the main group. All right, so this is it for first game of La Flamme Rouge. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there's gonna be links in the description if you guys want to get this game. And uh, it's really fun. Uh, play with your wife. Play with your kids. Play with your friends. Uh, this is winter time right now. It's just a nice way to still be involved in cycling without being on a trainer. I think it's even more fun when we're a big group yes. because have more draft, you get blocked more often because people are blocking the two lanes. Yeah. So yes, there's definitely more action when you're a larger group, but still uh, we love games that we're able to play just the two of us because currently during the the pandemic were most of the time just the two of us looking for for things to do so this is perfect yeah so maybe next time i can invite uh, some players uh from my team maybe tristan want to come on maybe nick or i don't know who else from the team want to join in for a quick game that will be fun yeah maybe we're gonna do another video about it all right this is it for today's do if you enjoyed please don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already for more cycling content and uh, in the meantime I'll see you guys on the road or into the next video.